hey everyone and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i have for you um four painting background ideas and i decided to do this because having an idea of what kind of background to do is perfect for beginners wanting to learn how to paint especially with acrylic and it's also a great way for anyone who is having a little bit of artist block to get an idea of what to do so putting down the background first is what I normally do, especially when I have no idea what I'm going to paint. And normally by putting my background down first, my ideas tend to come from that. So if I have an absolute no idea what I'm going to paint, then I'll start my background first because that's normally what I do. So that's why I've decided to do this video, to give you some ideas just in case you are stuck or you're wanting to learn how to paint with acrylics and you just don't know where to begin. So if you enjoy this video, don't forget to leave it a like or comment down below to let me know. It really does help my channel out if you're interacting. And if you're new here, hi, welcome, go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you are notified when I upload my next video. Let's get started. Start off by using the blue up the top of the canvas. Next, apply some purple, white, pink, yellow and blend pink and yellow together to make a very nice orange. Blend the colours down towards the bottom of the canvas like I am doing here in the video and continue going until you are happy with the sunset. This took me a bit longer than I wanted because I kept adding more pink. I decided I wanted it to be more pinker of a sunset. Okay, so I'll have all the colours that I've used for this background list down below. This is just a very simple and easy sunset background that is perfect for any beach scene paintings or landscape paintings. For this background, I did a palm tree overlooking the ocean and you can really come up with whatever you like whatever comes to mind once you've placed the background down so now moving on to number two to start off apply yellow to the center a nice medium or lemon yellow will do with a large brush apply the paint in a spiral motion Next, apply white to the center, blend it out in a spiral to lighten the center of the yellow. Now apply red or orange to the outer edges of the paper and blend it into the yellow and bring it outwards. This will start to create nice sunset colors, keeping the center a nice cream yellow or a light lemon yellow color.
one is again another very simple background using mainly two to three colors um, but it's just the one color but different shades of that one color so just a monochrome background so you could use red and yellow to make a deep orange and then blend it out to create a lighter orange going into a white in the very center it's just a very sunny spiral background i use this one to do my uh, bird sitting on a branch painting and a tree painting if you want you can use it it's a great one for silhouette paintings like butterflies birds or trees or you can come up with any scenery landscape painting that you like to use this background for okay next one number three below to start off i'm going in with a blue in the center of the paper now this is going to be a little bit hard for me to explain but hopefully it will make sense in the end basically i am working from the center outwards using the blue going around in a spiral Apply white to the center working your way out to create a lighter shade of blue in the center and having it get slightly darker as you work your way out towards the edges leaving the corners blank just for now. Continue lightening the center of the paper until you are happy and darkening the outer areas with blue still going around in a spiral. Next apply black for those corners that we left blank and edges until they are covered with black paint. You will hopefully understand why I'm doing this at the end, but now I am adding more white to the center, outwards going in and out and darkening certain areas. Allow the paint to dry, go back into the center with more white paint, spread it outwards, apply more blue.
The center is where I'm going to be placing the moon but for now put a bit of water and white paint on your paintbrush and splatter it onto the paper to create the stars like you can see me doing here. Place the moon like you see in the video. And number three is pretty much the same as number two but it's using different a different color which is blue, dark blue, medium blue to light blue and then white to create the moon. I use this background for my whimsical um, cherry blossom tree you can do something similar with this background or create a um, evening landscape painting silhouette painting it's great for any of those kind of things and um, I'll again I'll have the colors that I used for this one listed down in the description below moving on to the last one which is number four I am now going to go in with a blue paint to create my base colour for the background. I chose not to cover the whole entire canvas using the blue because I am now going to go in with a purple, black and pink. With the black I'm using it to darken the top of the canvas, fading it into the other colours. This will create a darker night sky fading into a slightly lighter night sky. I am using the paper towel because I accidentally applied way too much paint and I'm just using it to remove some of it. Okay, I am now applying the white paint to the center of the canvas just to lighten up and brighten the blue, pink and purple to get the paint ready for the silhouette palm tree. I want to keep the lower half of the canvas brighter than the top half.
I am now finishing off the background. I've just applied the pink to the bottom of the canvas, blending it up towards the blue. Now I have also applied the white paint and some water to my paintbrush, which I will use to splatter across the canvas to create the stars. The final one, number four, is a evening sky background. It's again a very simple one using very limited a number of colors. It doesn't take much time to create and it's great for anything basically, any evening um, scenes. And you can have a lot of fun creating this one, mostly using purples, pinks, blues, blacks, even a little bit of white if you wish, and um, splattering some white paint onto that background using any materials that you um, tools, I should say, that you wish to create the stars with. And for this one, I did a beach slash palm tree scene. And it was the first palm tree painting that I did. You can do anything that you like with this one. It's great with um, beach landscapes or any other type of landscapes that you feel would suit this background. I just want to say thank you so much for watching I really do hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you've gotten some inspiration or some new ideas for your next creation your next acrylic painting or painting in general I really do hope it helped you out and if it did please me leave me a like or comment down below to let me know as it does help my channel out and if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you here. And remember to click that notification bell so you are notified when I upload my next video. Until next time, stay creative. Bye.